right. Got a uh, pretty cool surprise here. Let's see what we got. Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, today's vlog is gonna be a little bit different, um, a little bit of a tech review, I guess, um, because I got a pair of Snapchat spectacles. All right, well, this is a cool little new toy to hopefully spruce up the videos, social media. I'm not gonna go all Casey Neistat here. I'll just go ahead and pretty exciting. Let's see what we got. Booyah! Snapchat spectacles. Okay, pop it open. Voila! Very cool. Okay, so Full disclosure, up front, I am not promoting these in any way. I am not in uh, like paid to endorse this or anything. I bought these to use them uh, to capture social media for obviously my social media and my vlog. These are the Snapchat spectacles. So you can see they're just a uh, regular pair of glasses with a camera on the front. And they're actually pretty cool. Um, as far as like sunglasses go, um, could be worse. So let's see, here are the Snapchat spectacles and here is a pair of my Ray-Bans. So you can see, you know, kind of up close, they're pretty similar. Um, Snapchat spectacles have fully round uh, lenses and obviously they have a little bit more flare with this little hump here, and then the little kind of almost like wings where the camera is, where the uh, Ray-Bans are, are flat and more of the traditional lens frame. Um, you can see how they look on me. So Ray-Bans, I'm pretty cool. And Snapchat spectacles. So I have been using the spectacles. You might've even seen them show up in the vlog. Um, and they work pretty good as sunglasses. So they are polarized. They're not obstructing my view. I have driven with them on. Um, I went jogging with them on. They stayed on, they were tight. It feels like a good build um, overall. Now, just for clarification, these are one size fits all. So you don't order specific sizes, although you can order special lenses if you have glasses. So I thought that was uh, pretty cool, but yeah, overall, uh, they fit snug, they're comfortable, they don't hurt my ears or anything. The only uh, downside, and this happens with all glasses, is often I wear a hat and they happen, you know, they fall right here. So when you put your hat on, uh, sometimes they hit, but that's not unique to the spectacles. That's just glasses in general. Let's first, let's take a look at the actual technology that's built in here. If you actually look, there is a button right here. And that button, when pressed, will light up. And that means that the glasses are recording. So I'll, you know, get the footage and flip it around here and you'll actually see the camera recording this. Very meta. And that means that the glasses are recording. So I'll, you know, get the footage and flip it around here and you'll actually see the camera recording this. Very meta. And uh, essentially, one press gives you a 10 second video, two presses gives you a 30 second video, and a long hold gives you a picture. Now, the quality has been pretty good. Um, I wouldn't call it, you know, out of this world amazing. It won't replace, uh, you know, my iPhone, or for that matter, if I'm doing professional video, my DSLR, my 7D, Canon. Um, but for social media, I think it works fine. Um, I don't see any problem with that. Um, the only thing, you know, Snapchat, of course, is made for, you know, essentially selfies. So there's a certain irony to you know, putting glasses on your face and recording what you're seeing. But it's kind of a unique pr perspective because it gives a very passive feel in the moment. Um, as I mentioned, you, know, you could be driving, uh, I was running, and it's like you don't have to hold anything. You just you know, tap the button. I could see this being very useful if you're going out to anything that is you know, like an event or you're doing something. 
uh, this would come in in handy a lot because obviously if you're outside uh, you'll have a pair of sunglasses but two um, it, it helps with those moments where you know how like a perfect example is you're you're at a bar and everybody's gonna do a cheers you know it's one of those things where a, a lot of times somebody at the tables like whoa, whoa, whoa wait 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 let's do it again you know everybody hold on hold on I want to get a picture you know and it it, be, it be, takes you out of the you know moment so instead of just doing the cheers and having fun clicking and, and capturing it, you, you almost like pose for it. And it has this real kind of like social media contrived feel. Um, and, and there are some really, you know, talented people out there who just happen to be like, boom, you know, got it. Uh, but for most of us, me included, uh, I don't have my phone in my hand all the time. In fact, because I'm doing a vlog, my phone is often in my tripod. So it's not ready for me to just grab and go, which was another reason why you know, I wanted to get these. Um, I don't know about you guys, as far as style goes, um, as I mentioned, it, it has the kind of hoop, um, you know, right here, the round, round lenses, and then a little winged. But overall, I mean, the look is cool. I walk around outside, I don't care. I mean, I don't care anyway, so if you're into style, you might. Uh, but I thought they're fine. Doesn't bother me. I was like, yo, uh, let's hit the road. Let's go. Um, one of the things that is also really important is Snapchat, unlike Google Glass, made sure to make sure that this lights up to identify to everyone in the room when you're recording. Um, I think Google Glass, you know, uh, was essentially it had that always on vibe where people, you know, if you're just sitting here. Uh, you don't know if somebody's recording or not and it, it's kind of weird or you know other things like maybe going into a restroom or into someone's private space like their home uh, we take selfies in people's homes you know we go to our friend's house we go to family's house and take photos there so I don't think there's anything wrong with that it's just that this light helps people feel more comfortable knowing there's a camera like on your face one of the downsides um, it only records 10 second and 30 second videos. So that's not inherently bad for social media, but if you wanted to use these for vlogging or something longer, you know, like actually record maybe a concert and just like leave it on your face, uh, it really won't work for that. So it's to capture those quick moments, those little things that, you know, uh, are just worth, you know, a share in a story. Uh, essentially Snapchat, right? That makes perfect sense. Let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories here. So this is the case and you can see it's, well, it's got the little Snapchat logo right here. And it opens up, it's a nice quality case. It feels durable, like if you were to take it with you and it, it you know, got bounced around in your car or whatever, uh, it would be fine. But one of the unique things about this case is it actually has a little charging station inside. And I believe this case holds up to three full charges for the spectacles. So you actually, you fold them up like so, and then on the back, underneath where it folds is a little, I'll show you, it's a little uh, like charging port and it snaps into place and you'll see when it does, it lights up and that means it's charging. So, you know, let's say you're out or you, you do go to a friend's house, you're not gonna be recording, you can put the glasses away in the case and it will charge. Now. Unfortunately, it does come with a its own unique proprietary cable. So this is not USB-C or anything. So you will have to take this cable with you um, to charge the case. Now, one there's two new two unique things about charging the spectacles. One, they have to be charged in the case. You do not plug this cable into the glasses themselves. You plug them into the case here, as so. And the other thing that's unique is, just like on the old Apple MacBooks, uh, this thing is magnetic, so it just snaps into place, which, I don't know about you, that's amazing. And you don't have to worry about, you know, it's sitting on your counter or something and uh, you accidentally hit the cable or it gets caught with your phone cable, it'll just pop right out. So that's actually pretty nice. Um, I like that a lot. And I believe the glasses, the battery, will last about a day um, it's not too bad considering, um, you know, if you take it with you, you could potentially have them out all day. 
um, and with the case, you should be fine. And to me, anything that lasts a day, you're good. So as far as actually recording, um, I believe Snapchat said that you can record up to 70 videos and 100 something pictures, uh, 70 10 second videos. So if you're doing 30 second, obviously, I'm, I am i don't do math, but you can do it. Um, and it actually works really, really well. So what I'm gonna do is uh, actually screen share from my phone and show you how to upload the videos into Snapchat. And then from there, you can export the videos into a square, round, or widescreen video to your camera roll and then use it any way that you would like. And I think it, it actually works really well. It takes you know only uh, maybe 30 seconds to drop the videos from um, the spectacles. Now you have to have the Snapchat app. So if you don't use Snapchat, uh, these won't work. You gotta have Snapchat. But for the sake of just, you know, uploading footage really, really quick, it's pretty snappy. I actually really liked it and Snapchat made it very, very easy to get it all set up, link the glasses to my phone, and then just, you're away. Start recording. So pretty cool. Um, all in all, if, uh, you know, I'm giving a recommendation here, again, no endorsement, and, you know, Snapchat did not pay me to say any of this, uh, I would definitely recommend these. If you're somebody who likes to capture lots of different moments, if you're out a lot, if you're doing stuff and you like to post social media, uh, I really like these. This is something that I will be using frequently. It will become a staple uh, in the vlog and will be coming with me where I go. I actually really like it, so absolutely. Two thumbs up from D-Man. Uh, great job, Snapchat. Uh, this is version two, by the way. They had a version one, which I guess had a lot of, uh, I guess we'll call it issues. Uh, I haven't used those, but I heard about it. These, by all accounts, seem to work pretty well. I feel like I should also mention that this case is pretty big. Um, if, if you wanted to carry the case around in your pocket, that's how it looks. Um, it fits comfortably in a front pocket, but I typically carry my phone in this pocket, my keys and my wallet in this pocket, so that's going to make it hard for me to carry the case. Also, it is bulky. Um, you can see that's, that is not, you know, if I go like that, you can see it. Um, and then as far as fitting it in a back pocket, it goes again, but I mean, you're not going to be able to sit down, uh, you know, that... That's pretty bulky. Hey, there we go. Tech review. Hey, sorry. I'm not, you know, MKBHD here, but uh, I, you know, try my best. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, are Snapchat spectacles something that you would be interested in getting? Right now, I'll just go ahead and uh, share some clips that I've taken with them so you can actually see, you know, what it looks like. Driving time lapse being recorded by the spectacles. Very meta. This is where I work. KKW trucking. Yeah, dude. See, now you're in Snapchat. You like Snapchat though, right? Yeah, I got Snapchat. Yeah. I like the snap. Alright, we're off to skate night, one of my most favorite nights every week. Super excited, I get to release the podcast tonight, enjoy a good steak, and hang out with some good friends. It's gonna be a fun night. too much inside but I'll make sure to get a clip the actual steak dinner maybe a cheers or two. For everyone on the podcast, all my friends who've heard about steak night, this is the Corral Barn Grill. Kelson, talking to you. Um, let me know what you think. Oh yeah. Woo! Salute, salute, salute. Here. Here. Here's to the weddings in 2019. 
I can't even wait to tackle this. And I'm not going to show myself eating or anything, but wow, it is awesome. And what a deal. All right, how awesome was that steak dip? Oh, always awesome. It's, I mean, it literally melts in your mouth, not in your hand. <laughs> so good. All right, we're recording. Oh, we're recording. Yeah! All right, cheers, everybody. Don't get me started, damn it. Don't get me started.